Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today I'm joined by a special guest, so um, hello Tom. Hello. Uh, Tom is here helping me today to show the answer to a question that we've been asked. But before, as is traditional on the, before we go any further, as is traditional on the channel, we must uh, have a look at the today's beverage. Uh, in honour of Tom being here and slightly underage, we are drinking Robinson's Finest Orange Squash. So um, we'll just say cheers. 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 Hmm, how very refreshing. Right, let's move that out of the way. So, um, I've had a question, and the question is, if you have a, uh, an aircraft with a, with a gimbal, there is something that you can select either via the app, if you have uh, a Vision Plus, or on the Assistant, if you have a P2 like me, which is called FPV mode. And I've had questions about what exactly is it, when could you use it, why, etc, etc. So what we'll do is, um, Tom is going to ably demonstrate, first of all, what happens when the gimbal is in normal mode. So Tom, if you could just lift it up and give it a little bit of a tilt from side to side. As you will see, and as you're all aware, look, in normal mode, the gimbal holds that camera level, so you get a nice level horizon. Okay, drop it down, Tom. Let's now just hit in the assistant to FPV mode. Now, let's watch what happens if Tom does the same again. Give it a tilt from side to side again, Tom. Slowly let it catch up. Go all the way over and hold it in one tilt. Go all the way over and hold it in one place. There, can you see now the camera, and back to the other side. The camera now, look, follows how the horizon looks to the aircraft on that horizontal plane. So go again, back over the other way. Around it comes and it follows. Brilliant, thank you Tom. So, basically FPV obviously stands for first person view. So by selecting FPV mode, what you're effectively doing is mimicking what the camera would see if it wasn't on a gimbal and was just attached to the aircraft, or indeed if you were attached to the aircraft in first person, as if you were having a pilot's eye view. Why would you want to use this? Couple of reasons. One, if you are flying purely by FPV, you're beyond visual range, if that's legal where you are, um, it can be a good idea to know what your aircraft is doing in terms of its attitude. For example, is it really struggling in a high wind? So, for example, if you were flying beyond visual range and there was a high wind and your aircraft was having to lean into the wind like this and, you know, there's a problem. In normal mode, look, looking out through the camera, everything would just be nice and flat and serene. If you go into FPV mode and suddenly your aircraft's having to lean into the wind, you actually can see that there's a bit of a lean on and if it's going like this you can see that there is a bit of a lean on and that can help you to pilot properly um, and also it means when you're banking turns and doing a coordinated with a bit of roll and a bit of yaw uh, around obstacles you get a more i guess it's a more video game kind of you know effect where you'll see banking uh, um, horizon and that'll be a lot easier for you to sometimes judge where the aircraft's moving so that's Reason one why you'd use it is purely for flying, using that as a reference. If you have one of these, you could be using Fat Shark goggles, for example, or if you have your Vision Plus and you've plugged it into some, um, uh, just plugged it into some um, goggles via your phone, or you're just flying with reference to the screen, that can be useful. The second reason why you might want to do it is because it might look a bit cool, actually. I haven't yet tried it, I really ought to. The problem that I've got with the P2 is I need to change it into FPV mode on the Assistant, go and fly, and then if I want to change it back again, I've got to plug it into the Assistant. One thing the Vision has uh, is, of course, being able to do it from the, on the fly in the app, I believe. Um, so I haven't really had an opportunity to try it. But if you imagine you're doing some aerial footage and rather than the nice, smooth, leveled gimbal shot, you could suddenly go into some, some awesome sort of helicopter or aeroplane mode where you're actually zooming and would look quite good with some nice coordinated left and right stick being used turns. So that's FPV mode how you get into it, what it might be useful for. Have a play. If you've got a Vision Plus and you can just change that setting, it's in the app under settings, um, that could be something quite interesting. You could do clips um, of both and uh, maybe use them in your aerial videos to give them a bit more of an, I don't know, an action feel. Anyway, that was that. I hope that answered the questions for those of you who had asked. And um, Tom and I, well, maybe not, because it's back to school soon, isn't it, Tom? Yeah. Oh, dear. I will certainly see you again soon back on the kitchen table. But until then... Cheers.